Science Bomb, yeah. thank you for being here. First yeah. of all, you came out from Boston. Yeah. I want to ask just a, one teacher question yeah. of you. Yeah, is yeah. it to be the, a teacher the day after Halloween? Uh, do the kids go nuts because of all the candy? Yeah, it's a beast. It's a bad day well, to be a teacher. Well, and then we had the World Series, so they were up all night. Oh. And then we had the candy. So is that why you took the LA. week off? Yeah. yeah, you did the right thing. <laughs> They've got a sub right now. They yes. must be really bummed when they have a sub uh, with all the fun stuff that you do. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's so what do we fun. have in store tonight? Something's right. boiling here. Yeah, this uh, we're gonna do a little thermodynamics. So get your goggles on there. All right, great. Uh, thank you. I so will. So here's kind of a, a little bit about thermodynamics. Is that as things, something that's hot and something that's cold is just how fast the molecules are moving. So we've got uh, some just water boiling in here. Yes. Uh, but that heats up the air, mm -hmm. and the air expands, and the air then comes out of it because it needs room to move around. Okay. We turn the heat off, the air comes back in. Yes, we all have stoves. Right, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, well, we've got a little demo here, which I think will help us appreciate just how much air actually, once it gets going, leaves the container, because it's very hard to tell. Okay. So I'm going to uh, take this off of the heat. All right. But then I'm going to turn it upside down and put it in this bottle of just, or this container of uh, room temperature water. And uh, we should see a vacuum and maybe get some of this water to move up into the flask which will show us just how spread out the air is. Is this the water from, like, the toilet? Uh, uh, in the, like it, why yeah. is it blue? Is yeah. there a reason for that? Uh, it's, uh, it's the blue of science, yeah. I see. Yeah. It's science blue. It's science, the blue you have yeah, tie-dyed your lab coat with. Okay, very All good. All right, so here we go. You ready? Yes. Here we go. And we remove that top. We turn it upside down. Keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. Here it comes, rising. You gotta appreciate it. Here's what this means. Yeah, what does the this mean? The amount of air that you see in there, yeah. when it was on the heat, was taking up the entire container. Yeah, right, That's this... how much it spreads out. Yeah. <laughs> not, I know, to me, the explosion part was yeah, more yeah, interesting. Yeah, okay, but, yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Uh, come on over here. We're gonna do a little physics demo. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, normally I come out, I do a little demonstration, yes. and I give a little explanation. Right. Uh, I'm gonna do a little demonstration, but no explanation, because I don't know how it works. You don't know how this particular project works. I don't, but I works. don't feel bad about that because I've shown it to physicists who also have given me different answers. It's just a really weird thing. So really? Here's what I've got. Oh, wait, um, you're science Bob. If you don't know how it works, you're just Bob. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Yeah. Uh, so it's a really simple setup. Uh, I've got two wheels that I picked up at a hobby store. Mm -hmm. uh, a little um, a tube here, copper tube. Okay. Those are connected to some DC motors. And then I have a loop of string here, which is running through the wheels. This is what you thought of, huh? Uh, well, it was actually based on a toy that, uh, that I came across years ago. OK. Uh, so I'm going to turn this on, and we'll see what happens to the string. So check it out. Oh. So we get that. So it's just kind of cool. Yeah. All right, so that's cool. And then you start interacting with it, and you get these kind of weird shapes. But it gets even kind of weirder. If, if, I, uh, if I interact with it down here, uh -huh. you see how that wave moves up? Yeah. The string is going this way. We don't oh. know why the wave moves up. Really? So, you guys yeah. have studied this and nobody seems to know why? I, I have asked many, many, many people, and I get different opinions. Here, so yeah. try this out. All right. And then here it gets kind of cool. Just move it back and forth. All right. Yeah, you can step out. Anybody want? And what if somebody touches it? Does it go down? Uh, uh, I yeah. can lasso Guillermo with this thing, huh? <laughs> Just what like, if we cross the streams like Ghostbusters? Oh, Will true. we all be sent like, to another it's dimension? Like wiggle it around and move it. It gets really weird. All right. <laughs> that that didn't that sound great, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if you put a spaghetti noodle in here? And this would be a be great cool. way to feed the kids, wouldn't it? <laughs> wow. Isn't that weird? Yeah, it's very it's weird. Totally weird. Yeah, it's so, weird. Uh, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna give the instructions so people can build this. I'll put it on my website and... Uh, oh, people can build this at home. Very easy. I wonder if anybody will actually do that. I hope yeah. so. Yeah? I hope so. See? They're gonna do it. All right. They are, oh, in scientific terms, we call that being full of <laughs> and I feel like this is gonna be an Olympic event in about 10 years, huh? <laughs> Uh, oh, it's fun, though. It is yeah. fun. It is yeah, fun. Yeah, build one at home. Oh, now it's dead. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. What else do we have, All science, right. Bob? All right. Sometimes, if you're scientifically literate, you can exploit science just to entertain yourself. Great. So we're going to do a little bit of that today. 
Uh, it's uh, after Halloween, and that means that pumpkins are like half price. Ah, So okay. we took advantage of that, and we're actually going to do a little bit of a classic chemical reaction. Actually, the very first demonstration we ever did together on this show. And here's how it works. Uh, we've got some pumpkins, and inside of the pumpkin is a little contraption that looks like this. Um, and we're going to have two chemicals in this contraption. One is going to be hydrogen peroxide. The other is going to be sodium iodide. When we pull this string, the two will mix together. And that we creates... will all be killed. <laughs> uh, that will create an exothermic uh, decomposition reaction. Basically, we're going to break apart molecules. Okay. It creates a lot of oxygen very quickly. We're going to put a little bit of dish soap in there. We should create some nice foam together. All right, good. Cool. Oh, we'll uh, the other foam. thing that we've done is we've put uh, holes in the top of these pumpkins. Why? Uh, give the foam a place to leave. Oh, okay. Yeah. All, All right. right. So come on over here very carefully. Watch okay. out for these strings. All Step right. Step up on the platform here. All right. And well, we're going to. Why are we so far away? Is this dangerous? Well, we've never done it with this many before. Okay. <laughs> All right. So here's what we're going to do. All uh, right. We'll do a countdown, and then we're just going to pull the strings right out of the pumpkin. Okay. Are you ready? All right. Yeah. Here right. we go. Yeah. Three, two, one, pull. All right. Trust the science. Trust the science. There we go. Can we look at that again in slow motion? Wow. Oh, wow. Ah, that that's is beautiful. That, wow, that's pretty, that's pretty great. That's something I'd love to set up in front of my Aunt Chippy's house, you know? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hit subscribe and all your dreams will come true, assuming your dreams are to watch more YouTube videos.